For example, you insert the rubber mute between two notes here. And you can see it's plus plus six cents. Plus six cents that's a little high. So the right side of the A sharp string can be tuned down and at the same time after that you can tune the uh, the left string of this pair this pair belongs to A okay then I'll use the tool this tool is very simply made by a quarter inch starship multi-point socket on this handle a regular socket wrench extended by a piece a piece of PVC pipe Use some duct tape to uh, to make it tighter in for insertion. So the left side is muted. The right side are the two strings. Makes the sound and the readings plus six cents. So let me. Try with the camera at the same time to tune it, to turn it uh, counterclockwise to lose it a little bit. And press the no, A sharp is the same. I moved it a little bit. I could, I could feel it. Now it's plus two cents, and that's good. Plus or minus two cents is good enough. So you take out the rubber, the mute, and then check the note. A2 So they are in tuned B2 B2 is the first one in the triple string group This one here The reading is a little sharper, plus 8 cents so insert rubber mutes. So that is B2 plus A cents. Tune it down. The center string has the pin in the middle. Other three pin uh, as a row. one column. Okay. So count the clock to lose it. Just the smallest amount that you can you can feel. And push, press this, the note. I didn't move it. So, so right now it's plus one cents. Good. We're going to insert a smaller rubber mute, a thinner rubber mute, between the second and the third string, the middle and the right string. 
So basically, I want to tune the, the left side, the left string, or the three string group for this B2 notes. So it's plus eight as well, like the center string, a little too sharp. So use the tuning hammer, self-made. It's better to use both hands by holding a camera, so. So turn this counterclockwise to lose it as little as possible. And check if it's better. Plus or minus six. It becomes too flat. So I need to clockwise tighten it. A little bit, as little as possible. Minor three. Plus one, that's good. That's what we want, pretty close to the center. Minus or uh, plus or minus one point is okay. One cent, I mean. Okay, then tune the right string, so mute the left and the center. Insert a new mute between those two strings. And check the reading. Wow, it's plus 11. That's really way up. So tune it down. So that will be the bottom, bottom pin of the three pin. Three pin group. For this note. Three string note. So gently and move as little as possible. Okay, I felt it moved. So let's check the reading. Oh, that's too much. So let's see, you hold the handle on the top end, two hands, is, two hand, use two hands better, so that you can move as little as possible. Check the reading. Minus nine. Still needs to tighten it clockwise. Move as as minute as possible. Okay, let me put that on camera for a while. B2. Okay, then we can uh, take out the rubber mute.
Then of course you can purchase piano tuning tools and they have valves, a piece of valves that insert between the three string groups. So just tune the, the middle ones all across uh, multiple strings at a time. That will save a lot more time. And there are other uh, mute tools besides the much better than the ones I self-made, of course. Okay, happy playing.